So what am I doing? I'm looking at my phone, looking at the weather. Somebody said to me earlier this week, hey, aren't we going to get cold? Isn't it supposed to get cold? We have nothing below 28 degrees as far as the forecast reads, which is not until Wednesday the 16th. Everything else is in the mid-30s, some 40s, 50s and 60s during the day. I'm hoping that noise makes sense to you. That is rain coming down in what we are now calling our Thunderdome, which is going to be our preview area for unique and special plants. My plants come in here for the winter time. Big plants we've, we've kept. Uh, castor beans that we've grown. This plant here is a castor bean, poisonous from stem to stern. Jesse's really trying to have a good time growing some stuff on the ground as ground covers, my palm trees. So this is Jesse's sacred Thunderdome. As you can see, some of the cuttings and the cool plants around that we're doing, the little trigonas off to my left, the little red leaf ruby trigonas. That uh, popcorn, buttered popcorn plant. This thing here, I wish you could smell TV, but smell this, Lou. Oddly enough, the foliage wow. smells like popcorn. Funny, right? To water plants, umbrella grass, take a leaf like this, turn it upside down, stick it in the water, it'll grow a new plant. To carnivorous plants in, in the bottom, to Lou's favorite, what he saw here last week and put on the website, the grapefruit trees that we're growing, one in the ground, one in the container. We're going to show off my staghorn fern in the other room as well. And this huge pencil cactus. So this is our new Thunderdome with lots and lots to come. Some secret stuff may be coming your way next spring, but we'll let you know as that comes. Also have confirmed two of our dates for pruning and rose pruning seminars, January 21st and March 18th. So we're already scheduling our pruning seminar Rose pruning seminar. We'll have seminars every other week starting in January through March. Sign up for our email on the website if you haven't yet. And we're on to bigger and better things. So we just came out of the Thunderdome into what we call the overflow, which is going to have to change because this is going to be cash register space next year. We're going to expand our store, which will be in next. But this area. We've yet to have the heat. There's bougainvilleas. These variegated agave that he showed you at the beginning of the video are not hardy in, Al in Albuquerque. It's too cold here. Hibiscus, bougainvilleas, also not hardy. We've yet to turn heaters on in here, but we intend to heat this eventually. Probably not this winter, but we will heat this whole house cash register area. So we will be expanding, like I said, with the Thunderdome. We're teasing about next spring already, so this will be a new expanded register area next year. Kind of cool, right? Tropical greenhouse and our cash register area. This is what I was just talking about. We will extend this into the other room. Got to come up with a new name. Maybe we'll take a vote. What are we going to call our overflow? It'll be the annex. I don't know. Anyway, just thought this was a cool look to be on video. Tropical plants. Get your get your groove on. If you haven't brought your house plants in, it's time. It's past time. But this is what your house should look like if you're a gardener in the wintertime. Everything has to come in. It's really tight and jungly, kind of fun. Then I want to show off the birds. This is Buddy and Holly. The blue one is Buddy. The red one is Holly. We'll show you a picture here. Buddy's showing off for you. That's big wings. Would you like a treat? Would you like a treat? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. She likes to hide, but she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Hi funny they they are they're very weather dependent if they're being sociable they're out when it's cloudy and dark they seem to be hiding she hides more but these little treat trays they'll come out to the treats again if they're being sociable so come in we'll give you a treat you can try and feed the birds and what ends up in the thunderdome wendy keeps asking me and i guess we'll do it is the mother staghorn here, the staghorn fern, like nothing I've ever seen before. I've got one of these pieces at my home that I took off of this. So staghorn fern given to me as a gift when I opened my business oh, 17 years ago by 
uh, my previous employer. She bought this and brought it to me. I, um, dare I say, I'm a, I'm a capitalist pig. I'll take anything for anything. Everything's for sale. This plant is not for sale. I, I would not sell this for all the tea in China. Just a, a very special sentimental plant to me. Friday, November 4th. Please vote. I don't care who you vote for. Get involved. Please vote. We want this to be an educational video. And so we're going to talk about dormant oil, which we have promoted for decades. All seasons oil is the one you've always heard us talk about. This is a kind of a mineral oil. It's a suffocant oil that is used in dormancy to really eliminate 80% of the insects that may winter over here in Albuquerque. This would take care of most of those insects. Now, what I've been taught by my wife in the last couple of years is that neem oil can be used as a oil, dormant oil spray. And I struggled because I didn't believe or know that. Neem oil has an insecticidal quality and a fungicidal quality, meaning it's an insecticide and a fungicide that has insecticidal qualities that are not just a suffocant. So we are going to tell you to use neem oil as a dormant oil. If you happen to have an all seasons or dormant oil, that's fine as well. If you only need it or ready to use, this is fine as well. But what we recommend now for a dormant oil I know it gets a little confusing, that's why we're taking some time on the video, is cold pressed neem, which is neem max. That's this product. It's the new and improved neem oil. It's cold pressed. So the process of putting it in this bottle from the neem tree to the seed to the insecticide, fungicide, dormant oil qualities in this bottle, the process of cold pressed makes it much more functional and usable, much more water soluble, easier applied, doesn't clog up your sprayers, and has all of the qualities that neem has, which is more than the qualities of just the oil, as I said again. And insecticidal qualities, fungicidal qualities, neem oil should be used as soon as all your leaves fall, which should be any time if the leaves have already fallen, you can use this now. Then again, you're gonna use it probably mid-January to 1st of February. I always want to be the first and the last on the block to have pansies. We were the first. We had pansies as early as August. And it's November and we just got a bunch of new pansies. So we will have pansies at least the next two or three weeks. It's not too late. As we talked about earlier with the weather, you've got plenty of time. Now I would suggest getting them in so they can grow and root. But look at these violas. Violas, Dusty Miller and Kale will hold color all winter long. So this kale, <laughs> lost the pot. This is Kale. The Dusty Miller is in behind Lou. He's going to turn around and sh shoot that gray Dusty Miller right there. That stuff will hold color all winter long. So a good texture combination with Kale, Dusty Miller, Pansies, and Violas. Color all winter long. New Pansies, $5.99 a six pack, $35 bucks a flat. That's six six pack, save a buck. The rest of the stuff in and around is half price. So we've got snapdragons, dianthus, some alyssum, some pansies that need a home that are some stocks. Oh, this smells heavenly. Uh, so we've got some half price stuff. So these would be half whatever the regular price was. And we've got some brand new stuff as well. Come on in. Not too late. We're still doing the gallon kale sale. That sale is half price. What a great picture Look, Lou took last week. It may be the same picture this week. An amazing kale sale. I should send you a picture of the pot Jen did. It's about this big around. It has, I don't know, 12, 15 kale in it. Cool, cool look. Several different sizes and shapes of kale. The perennial sale continues. And behind me, $12.99. We're teasing, seeing if anybody's doing the math. Five for 50 or 10 for 100. That's the same price if you haven't figured it out. Buy five, they go down to 10 bucks. The herbs and vegetables are buy one, get one free. And look at this selection. Again, I don't think it's too late at all to plant most of this. The exception would be basil. The basil would need to be inside. Thanksgiving's coming though. Wouldn't it be nice to have some fresh basil growing in your kitchen and just cutting it up and putting it in whatever you're gonna do for your Thanksgiving. And then this Thai basil, you can smell it through the camera. Amazing smelling stuff. 
then just a great selection of herbs and vegetables to get your garden on. We're going to put bulbs on sale. I tell you, with the pansies we just talked about, putting some bulbs underneath your pansies and picking your color. Bulbs are underused and so easy. You just throw these puppies in the ground with some superphosphate or some bone meal. Voila, up through your purple and yellow violas. Wouldn't it be cool to have a purple and yellow daffodil and tulip come up through the pansies? That's what you do. You plant your bulbs and then the pansies over the top and the bulbs will come right through it. The iris, it's not too late for it all. 20% off all the bulbs that you would plant now. I think people are not recognizing or realizing, it's why I wrote on here, this is fall blooming crocus, meaning it will bloom this fall. It's also saffron, the most expensive herb, spice, whatever that, whatever saffron is. That little stamen, that little piece of red right there is saffron. So the spice saffron comes from this fall blooming crocus. So the ones that aren't on sale are ones you're going to indoor force for Christmas and or Thanksgiving, indoor hyacinths that have been pre-chilled, amaryllis, and of course paper whites. There are paper whites galore up here in bulk. But what's really, really cool, I want to shout out for Michaela, what she did with the rocks and us starting paper whites. Wendy's got the recipe for shortening the paper whites and using a rubbing alcohol at a certain percentage. We have that recipe to make these guys stay shorter. But isn't that pretty? A bulb, a pot, a little marble, some rocks, and voila, instant, like five bucks, and you got this cool little thing happening in your house. Really, really easy, no effort at all. So it never ceases to amaze or surprise me, so I'm going to say it again. I've said three times now, this has been the third time. The weather's in the 50s and 60s and 30s, barely, for the next two weeks. You would think, well, that's still winter, it's still cold. Fall and winter allow for year-round planting in Albuquerque. This is all half price. We went from buy one, get one free to 50% off. So anything out here is half price. We're gonna show you the native section, anything from the little smoke trees to my right, over to the walkway, 50% off. And yes, you can still plant now. It's fine. We're, I, I say the weather again because it's going to be great weather. But even if it was truly cold or truly getting colder, you can plant here well into December. Most of the time you can plant here in January. So you got another two solid months. Take advantage of some sales. Get some stuff in the ground. I fully believe you're a year ahead planting now as opposed to planting in spring. Half price on the shrubs we just mentioned and from where he's standing, there's a sign right there. From that sign to this sign, all of this is half price too. Remember the sumacs in the picture a few weeks ago? Well, now buy one for half price. It's a smoking deal on those cool fall colors. The cactus are half price. There's some chitalpas in here, some chamisa. Just some really great stuff for half price. So this is included in this half price sale from sign to sign in that little block over there, which brings us into the shade tree section. And we wanted to talk about the different colors of trees. All our shade, all trees are 20% off. That uh, has my guy, Gary, welcome back, Gary. Uh, doing all trees, be it an evergreen, it's a tree, it's a tree. So, if you haven't been around, you can see the beautiful colors of the cottonwoods, bright, bright yellow. In behind me, you see a couple of cottonwoods, but you'll see some beautiful trees off of Edith and El Pueblo, right here on Edith and Alameda. I've been to the Hamas four times in the last two weeks. Beautiful, beautiful, bright, bright color. I think even prettier than Aspen are those bright yellow cottonwoods. In a little farther to my left are Chinese pistache. This particular tree has really gained favor in the past few years and you can see some of the color change, some that hasn't started to happen yet. Again, driving around town, some of the best color on a good low water U shade tree is a Chinese pistache. Beautiful burnt red raywood ash. 
The other one's uh, pear, flowering pear, also a great color. First thing to flower in spring, white flowers. Great glossy dark green leaves in the summer and then great fall color as well. All trees 20% up. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. This is a Mahonius, 20 bucks. There is just, I, I, can you tell it's all 20 bucks? I can't believe it. Rhododendron's 20 bucks. This is Mahonius, 20 bucks. First thing to flower in spring, this thing powers this beautiful spike of yellow flowers in the spring, February, blooming. That flower then turns into a grape, Oregon grape, common name for Mahonia. This is a creeping, compacted Mahonia, some grasses, some spirea, some lavender, some pussy willow. This pussy willow, some winter jasmine, this is also one of the earliest things to bloom. This will bloom in February as well. This pussy well is taller than me, guys. That's seven foot tall. 20 bucks. I don't understand why people aren't taking advantage of this stuff. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Then from here back, 150 to 300, $250 plants, $150 shrubs, yuccas, $150 yuccas, I'm sorry, $250 trees, $300 trees. These are all on sale for $129.99. So 15 gallon shrubs for 130 bucks. That's up to half price on some of this. It's funny, as, as we wrap up the video, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate you watching. Become part of our loyalty program. Continue to get your weekly emails. We appreciate y'all. I smell, as the wind coming towards me, the smell of cedar and pinyon burning. We keep a fire burning here. Most every day we're open and people are like, wow, what is that wonderful smell? It's pinyon and cedar. And there's nothing that smells as good as pinyon and cedar. That would be pinyon. That would be cedar, which is, we all call it cedar. It's truly a juniper, but that shreddy bark, redder, redder uh, color inside is juniper and pinyon. Wonderful smelling, great heating. We've got firewood in stacks, in buckets and boxes. If you need some firewood, come on down. As always, thanks for being part of our day and allowing us to be part of yours. Thanks for taking time to watch this video.